good morning for the today's session i welcome you all for the today's session in energy engineering subject okay today um, we'll be dealing with uh, polarized fuel burning in polarized fuel firing system the coal is reduced okay to a fine powder with the help of grind mill and then charged into the combustion chamber with the help of hot air current okay you can see the see in the figure the air required to carry the pulverized coal and dry it before entering the combustion chamber is termed the priming air and the air supplied separately for complete combustion is termed the secondary air okay you can see the primary air and here secondary air wind box these are used for burners and pulverizers next you well, can see next the storage of powdered coal requires special attention as it has possibilities of fire hazards okay skilled workers are required for safe operation and maintenance here okay and in pulverized fuel burning system these are two common methods of pulverized fuel burning system unit system and central or bin system as i have discussed bin system in the previous class but two i am repeating because this is very very important pulverized fuel burning system yeah, you can feed a raw coal into the bunker and it feeds to the super uh, separator which separates and uh, the exhaust fan rotates and the burner and it sent to the furnace heated air that is in a secondary air pulverized fuel burning central system you can see the raw coal bunker where we feed and the feeder where hot air enters and the it is sent to pulverizer and then it is sent to the cyclone separator okay which con through conveyor it is feed into the fuel feeder and then it is sent to the furnace for the burn okay next equipment for preparation of pulverized coal ball mill you can see the ball mill here motor your hopper two hoppers are there okay classifier is attached to both the hoppers and gear motor is there bearing rotating drum is there and next you can see the screw conveyor for coal coal is conveyed through the screw conveyor with the help of that hot air from the air to heater and there you all can see the exhaust fan which rotates which give, generates power here okay uh, or it will throw the exhaust things outside with the help of the exhaust fan next you all can see this hot air from air preheater where coal is fed from the hopper and it enters into the bowl rotating bowl you all can see rotating bowl you all, you all can see in the sketch where it is where hot air uh, air preheater is available in this and with the help of that it rotates next the arrangement of bowl mill is shown in figure this pulverized con pulverizer consists of stationary rollers stationary rollers you all can see in the figure stationary roller is shown okay and power driven bowl in which the pulverization takes place as the coal passes between the sides of the bowl and rollers okay a primary air induced draft fan draws okay fine discharge you all can see in this figure next figure this is also known as contact mill which consists of two elements which have a rolling action with respect to each other the coal passes between the rotating elements again and again until it has been pulverized to the desired degree of fineness the pulverization is completed by a combination of crushing crushing the coal in fact and attrition attrition between grinding surfaces the line diagram of ball and race milling is shown in figure this is the line diagram of ball and milling okay next next you all can see the types of burners these are the types of burners used for pulverized fuel okay so long flame 
or streamline burner and short flame or turbulent burner you all can see it okay so next these burners are built into furnace walls at the corners they inject the air filled mixture tangentially to an imaginary circle in the center of furnace as the flames for complete combustion hence in such burners there is no need to produce high turbulence with within the burners tangential burners give fast and high heat release rates so we use this burners okay cyclone burner you all can see in the figure cyclone burner this burner burns the cold particles in suspension okay thus avoiding fly uh, fly ash problems which is common in other type of burners the burners uses crushed coal about 5 to uh, see here and these are the oil burners principle of oil oil firing you all can see in the sketch the flames shown these are the principle of firings classification of oil burners that is vaporizing of oil burners in that atmospheric pressure at atomizing burner rotating cup burner recycle uh, circulation burner weak type burner is there. atomizing fuel burners mechanical or oil pressure atomizing burner rotating cup burner high pressure air atomizing burner okay with this we uh, next we proceed with the requirement of good coal handling plant it should be it should need minimum maintenance it should be reliable it should be simple and sound it should require a minimum of operatives it should be able to deliver requisite quantity of coal at destination during peak periods there should be minimum wear in running the equipment due to abrasive action of coal particles coal delivery equipment is one of the major component of plant cost the various types involved you all can see the flow chart here coal delivery unloading preparation transfer outdoor storage covered storage plant handling weighing and measuring feeding the coal to the furnace these are the things so what is coal delivery coal delivery the coal from the supply points is delivered by ships or boats to power stations situated near to sea river sea or river coal is supplied by rail or trucks to the power stations which are situated away from sea or river and unloading the type of equipment to be used for unloading the coal received at power station depends upon how coal is received at the power station if the coal is delivered by trucks there is no need of <coughs> unloading device as the truck may dump the coal to the out outdoor storage coal is easily handled if the lift trucks with scoop are used in case of coal is brought by railway wagon ships or boats the unloading may be done by car shakers okay rotary car drum dumpers cranes etc preparation when the coal deliver is in the form of big lumps and it is not proper size the preparation of coal can be achieved by the crusher breakers sizers dryer size dryers etc transfer after preparation the coal is transferred to the dead storage by means of following system belt conveyor belt conveyor is the you all can see the belt conveyor figure here which helps in many things for conveying the coal from or transferring the coal you all can see the weather this is very suitable means of transporting large quantities of coal over large distance but belt conveyor consists of endless belt made of rubber canvas or canvas running over a pair of end drums or pulleys and supported by a series of rollers provided at regular intervals the return idlers which support the empty belt are plain rollers are spaced wide apart the initial cost of can be cost of system is not high and power consumption is also low so we use this belt conveyor okay 
in the next class we will be continuing with discharge end thank you for the today's session if you have any doubts you can contact me